We've shown you his mug shots dating back nearly two decades. There are nearly two dozen of them of Jose Luis Garcia. Most of these are from drunk driving arrests. One week ago, there was yet another. Listen as a court staffer reads his criminal background to the judge. We did locate criminal history out of Texas and New Mexico. Ten misdemeanors with eight convictions. Out of those ten misdemeanors, we did find six prior misdemeanor DWIs with five convictions. Hang on, he's not done yet. There's more. Three felonies, Your Honor, all being for DWI with two convictions. Garcia, according to the court and police, has a total of eight DWI convictions. Last weekend, he scored his ninth. Police say he drove his car up some landscaping in a sidewalk and got stuck. The police report says Garcia wouldn't take a field sobriety test, but fell over when he tried to sit down. The judge was not amused. This record of yours and arrest history and also the conviction history that I see for DWI is not impressive. And so I'm concerned about you being a danger to the public. She put him on pretrial supervision and handed down a $25,000 bond. But within a day, Garcia was able to post it. We went to prosecutors to find out how a guy with such a long history of drunk driving convictions was out driving. The district attorney says Garcia hasn't gotten off the hook. She says he's done time. A spokeswoman for the DA's office declined to talk on camera, but told us in 2005, Garcia was sentenced to 12 months at the county jail. Then in 2006, he pled guilty to yet a sixth DWI. A judge sentenced him to 18 months behind bars. Then in 2011, another DWI, another guilty plea, and another sentence of 18 months. And along the way, his driver's license was revoked. We went to his home to talk to him. No answer. But the car he was busted in last weekend was there. We'll keep tracking this latest case to see where Mr. Garcia ends up. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.